Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Many times in reports, you need labels for informational purposes that are not associated with data from the underlying data source. Objects such as report titles and other descriptive text can be added to clarify what is being presented in your report. When you insert a text object into a report, you choose what text is displayed in the box provided and where to place the text object within the report. To insert a text object into a report, either click the Insert Text Object button at the left end of the Insert toolbar, or choose Insert from the menu bar and then Text Object. The mouse pointer will then be placed over the report design area and you simply click into the section where you wish to place the text object, just as when you insert data fields. However, after placing the field, you'll notice an insertion mark appear within the text object. At that point, simply type the text that you want the text object to display into the box. When you have finished, click outside of the text object into the report area to finish editing the text. You will then need to resize the object as desired. If you need to edit the displayed text within a text object after it's been inserted, double click on the text object to place it back into text edit mode and make the necessary changes. Once again, click outside of the text object back into the report area when you've finished to leave the text edit mode. An interesting feature of text objects is that they can have data fields inserted into them while you're entering and editing the text. To do this, simply go into text edit mode for a text object as normal. While in the text edit mode, select a database field to insert from the field explorer pane. Then just click into the text object to insert the selected field into the text object at the location of the insertion point. Once again, when you're finished, click outside of the field to view the text and the data that you've entered. Once again, you may need to do resizing at this point or any other formatting you would like to have appear. If you'd like to see it in the preview, you can simply click the Print Preview button in the standard toolbar. So here we can see the use of the fields and also the text object which we are using to display both the first and last name in a single full name field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.